Greetings, fellow editors. Quiver is a new extension to quickly add video and audio clips or motion graphic templates to a timeline. To start, you need to drag and drop clips from the project panel to Quiver. A Quiver bin will be created and items will be moved there. You can drag reorder created buttons and vertical or horizontal orientation will depend on panel size. Now, you can start adding clips at the playhead just by clicking on this button. What I like about Quiver is that you can hit the play button and add clips without interrupting playback. It almost becomes a game. To make it even better, you can assign a shortcut in Spellbook to add clips with a keyboard or use a custom URL link from Spellbook to add Quiver items from control surface like Stream Deck, Touch Portal or others. You can see that Spellbook shortcuts are tied not to a specific item but to an item's position in Quiver. To check the number of an item, hover your mouse over a button. To learn more about Spellbook, please watch a video about it on my channel. I assign shortcuts and now I can add items with a keyboard. By default, clips will be added on the bottom targeted track. If there is already another clip there, the new clip will be added on the first empty track above. This method is called overlay. You can right-click on a Quiver item and change the method to overwrite. Whatever is on the destination track will be overwritten. Or to insert. Clips on the destination track will be shifted for the duration of the inserted item. You can define the destination track either by target track or by track name. Be aware that you will be shown track names that are available in the active timeline. If you don't see the track name you need, just create it in a sequence. Track name is useful if you know where specific clips should go, like SFX, graphics, silly bird sounds, etc. When you use overlay method and track name as destination, if the track is already occupied, a new track with an incremented number will be created and the quiver item will be placed there. Now, you see that clips are added at their endpoint. What if I want to have a different starting position? For example, for a whoosh sound, I would like the clip to be added at its loudest part. Easy, open Start Market Panel, load a clip in Source Monitor, find the spot, and hit Add Start Marker button. A Quiver Start Marker will be created. After that, when I add this clip to a timeline, its start marker will be aligned with the playhead position. If you have a lot of items that need a start marker and you want to speed up this process, use a shortcut in Spellbook. Want to make it even faster? Enable AutoMark audio clips in Quiver settings. Whenever you add an audio clip in Quiver, a start marker will be added at its loudest part automatically. Here is my favorite Quiver feature. If I want to replace a clip in a timeline with a Quiver item, I can just select the clip and press the Quiver button. The clip will be replaced at its starting point. If the original clip has a Quiver start marker, then the marker will be used as a starting point for the new clip. This allows me to replace multiple clips instantly and keep perfect sync. What if I add a bin with clips to Quiver? First of all, you'll see that the button looks like a folder. It doesn't mean that you can open it in the Quiver panel, but it's just a visual reminder that it is a bin. If I click on this folder button, a random item from the bin will be placed on the timeline. This is useful if you have a group of similar clips that you want to add to a sequence. Here, I have a bin with different source sounds, so I can just press one button to add different sounds when source are clashing.
After the initial run through, I find some sounds not matching the picture. I would love them to be more harsh. I will add another bin to quiver with heavy source sounds. Select clips I want to be replaced and press the button. Clips are replaced with random sounds. It's good. I don't have the same sound everywhere. However, I don't like this specific heavy sword sound. I want a different one. What I can do is this. I will put in out points around the region with a sound I don't like. Enable loop playback. Select the clip and start playback. Now, I can just press the folder button with heavy swords and have a light audition over a place sound. When I replace a timeline clip with a clip from a quiver folder, instead of randomly picking up a replacement clip, quiver will iterate over every clip inside the folder, one by one. I like this one. What about adding a group of clips with quiver? Create a sequence. and drop it in the Quiver panel. Make sure Add as individual clips is enabled for that item. You should see a different shape of a button. Add and arrange clips the way you want. Here I add the sound of a drone sword, then a whoosh, and sword hit. Also, I can add a start marker. If a sequence is inside Quiver already, you can add a start marker just when it is active. No need to load it in source monitor. Press the button and a group of clips will be added. The start marker of the sequence is used as the starting point. Clips will be grouped right away, so you can move them around as a group. And replacement of a group works as well. I will add another sequence to Quiver Select the added group and press the Quiver button Replaced with perfect sync Know that Quiver will add clips from the project panel. So if you have any effects applied to clips inside a sequence item, they won't be applied. That said, you can overcome this by adding effects to a source. To illustrate this, I will show how to create a custom transition with Quiver. Another sequence. I will add two clips that will act as placeholders while I work on the transition. I will create and add an adjustment layer. Make sure to create a unique adjustment layer for every adjustment layer used in a transition. Let's do a pen transition. Great! Here is the important step. After animation is done, select all effects, cut them, click on the Source tab and paste. That's all. Let's add some sound and add a start marker at the cut point. Don't forget to remove placeholders. And here is the transition in action. Great! And once again, I can replace it with another transition and keep the sync. Another feature, Quiver Manager. You see that Quiver will look for Quiver items inside the active project. That means if you don't use a template project with Quiver already set up, you will need to fill your quiver 
for every project you work on. What if you use the same elements across all of your projects? How can you speed this up? Open Quiver Manager and create a Quiver that can be used by any project. Let's call it Global Quiver. Prepare and organize items. Save the project. I can switch between quivers inside Manager or in the main panel itself. Whenever you select Quiver project, you will see that the selected Quiver project will open and close briefly. This is needed to preload items. Good. Now I can add items from Global Quiver to my timeline. If it is the first time you add an item from Global Quiver, a new bin with the name of the Quiver will be created in the active project, and items will be stored there. Last notes on Quiver. Some motion graphics templates don't have an item in the project panel. To add them, just drag and drop the Mogurt file from your file browser. You will see a transparent video created in the Quiver bin. It is used as a placeholder for Mogurt data. Also, insert method is not supported for motion graphic templates due to API limitations. To undo its actions, Quiver uses the undead extension. So to remove edit clips, just use the native Premiere Pro undo command. Also Merlin is needed for Quiver to group clips added from a sequence. Make sure to add Merlin control surface in Premiere Pro preferences. To learn more about undead and Merlin, watch a video on my channel. That is all. Thank you.